What if you are using the rarest skin in the game and don't even know about it? Apex Legends has almost 800 different legend skins and they've been regularly releasing new ones since the game was released in 2019, over 1200 days ago. I've been digging through the list of the least used skins and limited the list of skins that were only available for a limited time and still hasn't come back. And honestly, some of these have a really cool backstory. Let's take a look at 10 of the rarest skins in Apex Legends. Also, thank you so much for your concerns about my voice. As I mentioned in the previous video, I have a virus, but I'm getting better every day. On the subject of collecting rare items, this turn-based strategy RPG is a perfect game to play when sitting in the long diamond queues, when you're taking it easy on the couch, or even when you're on the toilet. The graphics are great, even for mobile, and figuring out the best way to build any champion keeps it fresh and interesting. I don't know about you, but I'm a completionist by heart, and I love to 100% most games that I play. And Raid Shadow Legends is a great game to do this, thanks to their over 600 champions to collect and upgrade. In addition to endless artifacts to find and billions of different teams to try out, the game ends up having years and years of content. I've been playing it on and off for over a year, and I've really only scratched the surface. There's still so much left to do. Use my QR code or links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. Let's open up some shards. What's great about them is that even if you don't get the specific champion that you want, you can use them to level up your other champions instead. Raid Channel Legends has been around since mid-2018, so what's new? There's always new patches around the corner with a ton of happening this month alone. Raid is currently hosting a special Deliana Chase event where all players, existing and new, get a brand new legendary champion from the High Elves faction. All you need to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 20th. You do not want to miss out on this since Deliana is one of the strongest support champions in the game. Also, if you haven't tried Raid out before, here's an offer for you. Once in game, enter the promo code MYDELIANA to get 50 XP bros in order to instantly max your new Deliana to level 50. How's that for a starter bonus? On top of that, there's a new set of skins for Trotted Guilt Ballad coming out. There's seriously never been a better time to get started, and if you use my link or scan the QR code right here, new players will get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. We're talking a free champion, Virgis, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 Asian shard, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in-game. You will find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. I hope you guys will enjoy Raid Channel Legends as much as I have. Again, scan the QR code or check out the link in the description. On to the video. I have to give the entirety of number 10 to all of the Prime Gaming skins. These skins are usually available for about a week and it's given out to Apex players who connect their Twitch to their EA account and then have an active Twitch Prime Gaming subscription. There are 35 different Prime Gaming loot skins with Respawn currently aiming to release one new a month, with the first one dating all the way back to Omega Point, which was only available from the game's release till April 20th in 2019. Unlike most rare skins, Prime Gaming skins have never made a return to the item store and probably never will, meaning that the one shot to get them, as well as the high barrier of entry, seeing as you needed to connect a Twitch account with Prime Gaming, in addition to them dating all the way back to the game's release in 2009, where less people were playing or less inclined to collect skins. Seeing as these skins most likely cover the basis for the 10 rare skins, we could end the video here, but that's why I'm lumping them together and moving on to number 9, which is the Wraith skin Night Terror. And whoa, 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 before you take it to the comments, hear me out. You've probably seen a skin from time to time and don't believe that there's any way that this actually is rare. It also has been made available in the store not once, not twice, not three times, but five times since 2020. What if I tell you that the skin on your screen actually isn't Night Terror, but instead Voices of the Past, which is a reskin of Night Terror, part of the Legendary Hunt event in 2020. The original skin looks like this, and you could only get it by getting to level 15 on the Premium Battle Pass during the Legendary Hunt event in 2019. And to this day, it has not been made available again. On to number 8, we have... <laughs> We have this this Walter skin. It's called <laughs> it's it's called Blazing Hot. Just look at him. The skin was part of Season 6's aftermarket collection event in 2020. It goes hand in hand with the L-Star skin, Road Rash, and I'm sure they were intended to go together. If this also is the raddest skin you've ever seen, make sure to hit that like button. Moving on to number 7, there's the Folk Hero Mirage skin, which is a recolor of the more common Revenger skin. This skin was only available in the item store for a limited time in February of 2020. In my opinion, Mirage looks a lot better here than in the original skin, and I could definitely see him in a superhero setting. Number 6 is yet another Gibraltar skin by the name of Call to Arms, which was featured way back in the controversial Iron Crown collection event dating all the way back to 2019. 
Let me put the Apex Historian glasses on for a second. Unlike most collection events, the odds of players actually buying the skins was a lot lower since this specific collection event had respawn testing the waters on a new microtransaction model with astronomically expensive skins. If you liked one skin in the collection event, you couldn't just up and buy it. Instead, you had to roll the dice with an Iron Crown pack for a 22 to 1 chance of getting the skin you wanted. Each Iron pack, basically a normal Apex pack with an increased chance of legendary items, was about $7 each meaning that you would need to spend over $154 in order to get all of the skins, or if you are really unlucky, just the one you wanted. To make matters worse, if you wanted Bloodhound's Heirloom, you needed to not only buy 22 Iron Crown packs, but then you also had to pay an additional $35 fee just to get it. It sounds like a lot. For perspective, the current collection events not only allows you to purchase the skins individually using Apex coins or Legend tokens, it also rewards you the Heirloom for free once you have all of the skins unlocked. But wait until I tell you the price tag. Nowadays you can get an entire collection event completely free by using crafting materials, taking your chances with the packs, or just individually buying every item with Apex coins for a total of about $160. You then will be able to unlock the collection event heirloom at no extra charge. The community was understandably frustrated for these ludicrous prices and rioted on all forums. With the developers breaking the silence with bangers such as calling the Apex community freeloaders and then defending it. If you guys want to see a video on this whole drama, just let me know in the comments. Up next is number 5, which is the caustic skin Dark Cloud. This is a recolor of the more common Divine Rite, which you can purchase with Apex coins or Legend tokens, and was last seen in the item store in May 2019. I, f I feel like listing recolors is cheating. Is it cheating? On to number 4, we have another skin in the same situation as Night Terror, down to the color scheme and everything else. We're talking about Crypto skin Seeker of Knowledge, with this dapper gentleman wearing cool goggles and a mostly white suit. This skin was only available for a short time in the Lost Treasures collection event in 2019. 2020, but a recolor, Awoken Fury, came out during the collection event in 2021 and has been made available again in the Lunar New Sale just this year. Again, with the original skin saying just as rare. As for number 3, we have the Pathfinder Path skin, which is a red and white recolor on top of the chunkier Pathfinder model. This skin is not only limited to players on the Switch, but was only awarded to players who logged in and played Apex between its release on the 9th of March and 4th of May in 2021. Sadly, this rare skin is only available on the Switch, and since we still don't have cross-progression between platforms, cannot be used on your PC or on your console account. Everyone wants to see cross-progression in the near future, which Respawn promised a long time ago and then never followed up on. But what I'd like to see even more is some sort of market where you can trade skins. Since I miss out on a lot of these and I really, really want the Gibraltar skin. Number two on this list is The Last Laugh, which is Caustic's legendary clown skin, which was originally part of the 2019 Fight or Fright event and was later on featured in a 2020 Fight or Fright event in a bundle along with the black recolor called Sweet Dreams. Before moving on to number one, I just want to remind you guys about this graph showing that only 30% of you guys watching are subscribed. So if you're enjoying the video so far, which I'm assuming you do since you made it all the way here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications not to miss a daily bang of content. I have a lot of high value content planned for the next few weeks and you do not want to miss it. And finally, onto the rarest and most difficult to obtain skins on this list, we have the skins from the Monster Energy Drink collaboration in 2021, which required you to purchase up to 50 cans of Monster Energy Drinks to unlock skins such as Octane's Abstract Splash at 20 cans and Rave's Energy Transfer at 30 cans, with a rare holo spray reward if you drink 50 cans of Monster. You can also receive a badge that levels up as you unlock more and more cans, upgrading at 15, 25, 35, and finally 45 cans to get the fully stacked energy badge. The codes could be found purchasing Monster Energy Jinx with this print, and the code was available underneath the cap. I couldn't actually find whether this collaboration has stopped yet or not, and it probably depends on where you live, as the cans of the codes still are in circulation. I didn't see any of them for the entirety of 2021, but some have popped up in stores here in the lonely Sweden, so maybe these skins won't be rare for as much longer, but for the time being, these are 10 of the rare skins in Apex Legends. If you want to see the 10 most game-breaking exploits, that video is available on the screen now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.